This is a video about getting the DIRT4 program running on three monitors. The reason I'm making this video is because I was having trouble getting DIRT4 to run on three monitors, and I searched YouTube to see if there was a video that would give me a simple walkthrough, but I couldn't find one. So I went back to the program and tinkered for a while and finally figured out how to get it to work right and, and decided to make my own video about how it's done because I can't be the only guy who has trouble getting this thing to work. Okay, first a word about my own setup here. You can see I've got a total of five monitors coming off of my computer. And in addition, I've got a, a VR headset as well. I have two video cards in my computer. I've got a nice, powerful GTX 980 running the bottom three monitors and the VR headset. I also have a much less powerful NVIDIA GT635 running the upper two monitors. Now you can see how your monitors are arranged with respect to one another and change that arrangement by right clicking, going down to display settings, and that's the way my monitors are arranged. Two on the top, three on the bottom. Now this is all going to get changed when we set up the bottom three monitors to act as a single monitor. And when you're done playing your Dirt 4 driving game, you're probably going to want to put these back in their original arrangement, and I'll include that as well. How do we get Dirt 4 to run on three monitors? My, my plan is to get it to run across these three lower monitors. Now, these instructions are going to be for the NVIDIA video cards. If you have a different video card, such as one from AMD, the instructions will be different. Now, I right-click anywhere on the screen, and I get this drop-down menu, and it gives me NVIDIA Control Panel. Okay, this is the NVIDIA Control Panel. We go over to the left side and we select Configure Surround PhysX. And now we see this representation of all of our monitors, and it shows that we have three monitors connected to a GTX 980, and two monitors connected to a GX 635. Now we go up to here, and it says Surround Configuration. We will click Span Displays with Surround, and you notice these three change color. Now, the reason only these were selected, it's likely that the GT635 doesn't support surround. Now we have these three monitors selected. We'll go ahead and click Apply. And all of the monitors show what number they are. The NVIDIA program displays monitors in this order, one, two, three. But in fact, they are 231. So we need to rearrange these so that they match the big numbers. So we will rearrange these. Okay. <clears throat> 231 matches 231. Now we click Enable Surround, and the monitors are going to blink on and off for a little bit. Okay, after about eight seconds of that, this is what we end up with. Okay, two, three, one. Now, a lot of our icons have been moved up to these windows up here. If we click Display Settings now, this is what it looks like. All three monitors on the bottom are like fused into one, and these are the two monitors on the top. Now, this is the way we want it set up. The next thing we do is we will start the DIRT4 program. For whatever reason, my DIRT4 icon ended up on this monitor. So we're now ready to go ahead and start the DIRT4 program. We'll just click on that. Yeah. 
you can see the screen is compressed side to side. That's because we need to set it up for the three monitors. Press start. Now this menu list comes up. You want to click options and extras. Go to graphics. Go to video mode. It gives us this choice of resolutions. Our initial choice is 1600 by 1200. All of these monitors are 1600 by 1200. Now, three of them in a row is going to be 4800 by 1200. In other words, three times 1600, 4800. And we'll click one of these arrows. Gives us a higher setting. OK, there we are, 4800 by 1200. The next question is, do we want, do we want full screen? Our choices are no, yes, and borderless. You want to go with full screen. We click Apply Settings. Now it says, are you sure? You click Yes. Now we see we have a completely different thing. Now it's spanning all three monitors. OK, we're going to click Back and Back again. OK, now I'm going to go ahead and get this started. I'm going to just click Event to make this as simple as I can. Joyride. I'm just clicking through these selections just to kind of get it going. Just to demonstrate just how good three monitors is. It does take a little bit of time to uh, get it all started. Click Continue. Click Skip. Here we are. Now this is what this looks like. Now that's pretty cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit the accelerator and show what this looks like. And as you can kind of see, it really gives a very immersive feeling. Much more immersive than just using a single monitor. Probably not as immersive as VR, but still. Now, in some ways, I think this is actually better than VR. VR takes a lot more uh, GPU horsepower than three flat screens. So you get better frame rates using three flat screens, plus you can run it with higher details. And if you are prone to motion sickness, of course, you won't get any of that with this. And the VR headset can be kind of heavy and claustrophobic and uncomfortable. And on a hot day, it can get kind of sweaty. But anyway, I mean, I like them both. I like VR, but I, I also really like this too. This game doesn't support VR. There are a few games that do, like Assetto Corsa and Project Cars 2. But fortunately, it does support triple monitors. I'm going to go ahead and shut down this program because when you shut yours down, you're probably going to have to set up your monitors back the way they were originally. OK, so we hit the Escape key, leave chapter, quit yes. You have to go through a whole series of these windows for some reason. Back, back. We're going to go ahead and click quit. Yes. OK, now we've exited the game program, but our monitors are still in triple screen mode. And we're going to have to undo that and put it back the way it was. So the first thing we do is we click on disable surround. Now the monitors are going to go through that, go through this period where it kind of flashes. OK, now all of these screens ended up up here. We'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and click these off. Click off this screen first and click off this screen. OK, so now we are out of triple screen mode. Unfortunately, our monitors have now been rearranged. I'm going to go ahead and right click and display settings. And you see it's just kind of lined them up like this. Now, I had a more complex setup, 
Now, if you can't quite remember which was which, go ahead and click identify and it will show you the numbers. Okay, so in my case, I need to go four and five and apply. So now the monitors are arranged properly and now I have to make this one the active one again. And everything moves down here. Okay, so now we're back the way we were. Now, yours is going to be arranged differently, but I'm just making the point that when you come out of the triple screen mode, that your computer may have forgotten the way they originally were, and you may have to reset that up again. And that's it.